Who wants one of them? Me! I think, I think they all want one. I want one! Whoa, 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 whoa! I got it. Hey Jerry Rockers, welcome to J Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, today we're going to do another catch and cook trash fisher treasure series, and we're going to be trying cooking a horse eye jack, a very large horse eye jack, over 20 pounds. Big old fish. I've heard that they're pretty good when they're that size, so we're going to give it a shot. I've eaten smaller ones and I like them, but typically when I catch large jackervels, I usually let the large jackervels go because they tend to be a little bit fishier. But this fish is supposed to be different, so we're going to give it a shot. So real quick, check out this clip of my buddy Bill catching this massive fish. Epic catch. It was just absolute epic catch. And then I will see you guys at the cleaning table, and I'll see you in the kitchen. <music> Something on the flat line here. Let me reel this up because he's gonna need help. Still got him, Bubba? It's either gonna be a shark, a king, or a cobia. Ooh, I don't feel like a uh, shark. You don't feel like a shark? No. Heads up, guys. Oh, the captain with a gaff right, right here. Brandon, pull that pole. Pull that pole out of there. It's his knee, look. I think it's King. King? All right. We'll take a King. I can feel his tail fast. What do you do, what do, you do with the shell? Huh? How do you cook that shell, Mike? Uh, that, grill it. Yeah, yep. Cool. Stake them up and grill them. Oh, it's awesome. I do that too sometimes and also I make uh, buffalo shark bites like buffalo chicken wings. Awesome. You gotta get them in before somebody else gets them though. That's a king. Well, that's a king. <laughs> and the meat. Yeah, yeah. You got a steel eater on that or no? Yeah. Uh oh. Floor carver. Floor carver. These when they hit, they just hit and going. Oh, yeah, they're just yanking it down. I just want to see this bad boy. It's big, whatever it is. It's not a shark. It's a Jack Ravel. Yeah, that's a big Jack, dude. That's a big oh, old Jack. Yeah. That is a huge Jack. It is. Look at that. Yeah, look. Is that jellyfish? I don't know what that is. Look at the size of this Jack Ravel, Summer. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't either, actually. That is a big old Jack. Wow. Give you a good fight, right? Oh, yeah, they get a real good, good, good fight. Can we keep it? Yeah, we'll let him go. Unless you want him. What's that? Check that. No. You want him? No, I don't want him. I'll let him go. Turd sandwich? Turd sandwich. They make good fish dip. Yeah. They make good smoked fish dip. Man, look at that thing down there. Oh. I'm waiting for the tax man to come get him. That'd be cool to see. He is working you, son. Hey, dude, he's a heavy dude. <laughs> yeah, come here, turd. That is a big old jack. 
That's a horse hijack. Oh that is a huge horse hijack. That is such a big drag. I've never seen a horse hijack that big. Neither have I. Where is he? Yeah, he is. That is a horse hide. 100% horse hide. Killed him in the gill. No, I'll keep him. That's, they're better than Cravels. That's a big old horse eye. Oh god! Uh oh, we got one back there. Get him, Cap! Is there a hook right there? Is it you gotta cut it. Right. He's getting worked. <laughs> I've never seen a horse. I've never seen a horse eye that big. He's got it, he's a man. Oh, come on. I think that was dead already. That's a big old horse eye. Alright guys, I got my big horse eye jack here that Bill caught. So basically we're going to clean it just like we do a Jack Ravel. We're going to take the back strap off. Just like this. And they're going to be making all kinds of noise. Don't try cutting through these hard scales right here because it just will ruin your knife. These things are super hard. Now once we got that cut, we'll come back and we'll start going along the backbone. Just like this. And just run that knife along that backbone. Back strap should come right off. Just like that. Here we go, we got that big back strap. About where this fin is, and make another incision, make another cut. And we'll cut on the other side of this uh, hard scales here, their tail, tail scales. Flip them around. Cut along that backbone. Like that. Go and we'll get that little piece off. Alright guys, I got all my strips of meat off the fish. So we're gonna go ahead and start skinning them. And getting them prepared to cook. So I'm just gonna take that off like that. Try to leave as much of that dark meat on the skin as you can because the dark meat is what makes fish taste so bad. Some fish it don't bother them at all. Like a triple tail, they don't bother it. Trigger fish. With fish like this, you want to get all that blood meat off as you can. So that's a nice piece of clean meat right there. Back straps here. Same thing, try to stay off that skin as much as you can. There we go. All the dark meat's on the skin for the most part. Still got a lot up here though. And that's really easy to do. Just run that knife along like that. And you'll get it, most of it off. Same thing right here. And there you go. You got some really nice looking meat here. Alright guys, we're in the kitchen. And I got my horse side jack uh, steaks right here. And they look really good. The meat looks really good. And we're going to do this really simple. We're just going to do some simple seasoning. And we're going to pan fry them in some olive oil. And we're going to use just a generic uh, steak seasoning. This is stone mill you get at Winn-Dixie. And we're just going to go ahead and season them pretty good. I 
do both sides. Alright guys, I got my uh, fish steaks all seasoned on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and put them right here in this hot pan. Just like that. Hopefully I can put them all in here. Don't look like I can. Alright, well, let's see. Hold on now. I'm going to do it in there. There we go. I'm going to let these cook about three or four minutes each side and we'll see how they turn out and I wish I could tell you guys how good this smells I wish we had smell of vision this smells outstanding it's looking pretty good too alright guys I'm going to go ahead and flip them over Look at that, y'all. Man, that looks outstanding. We're going to try to get them really good and browned on both sides. These are pretty thick steaks, and this is a pretty uh, meaty fish, very firm textured fish. So this might take a couple more minutes per side, but they're looking good. All right, guys, we're going to flip them over again. There we go. Yeah, this is turning out nice. I don't know if you guys have ever pan seared tuna steaks before, but this smells a lot like that. Which is a little shocking to me. I mean, the meat does kind of resemble tuna in a way. But I'm really curious to try this out. I've never eaten a horse eye jack this big, so this is a, a new venture for me. Alright guys. They are done. Go ahead and take these out real quick. Man, look at that, guys. Man, that looks awesome. Smells fantastic. I mean, look at that, guys. Holy moly. All right, I can't wait to try this. All right, guys. Well, uh, I got my horse side jack all done, and I got to tell you guys, not only does this look really good, it smells fantastic. And you can see it was a dark meat fish, but after you cook it, the meat kind of turns white, real similar to tuna. Everything about this so far is very similar to tuna. The color of the meat, the smell, the way it looks. So here it goes guys. This is my first time eating a large horse eye jack. Holy cow. Wow. Uh, you guys are not going to believe me here, but this don't even taste like a mean fish. I mean, this does not taste like fish. The texture of it, everything. Holy man. I mean, look how it flakes, guys. Look at that. I mean, the way it flakes off like that. Holy cow. Wow. Absolutely wow. Man. Well, as far as a uh, trash fish or treasure goes, that is an absolute 100% treasure. Almost makes me want to try Jackavella again this big. Bleed it really good and give it a shot. 
man. Wow, I mean, it's so different, the taste between the smaller ones and one this size. I mean, it's not even the same fish. I'm wondering if the jack would be the same way, because I like small jack Revels, but I usually throw the real big ones away, the big 20, 30, 40 pounders away, or let them go. But if they taste anything like that, I'll be keeping them. Yes, sir. That right there just went down in my top five best eating or my favorite catch and cooks right here this is in my top five 100 percent that is outstanding i was blown away by the bass last week this blows that away this is this is great i'm shocked that's awesome well guys hope you enjoyed this video and i uh, hope it's a little something a little different that you guys are not used to seeing because i don't think there's many people out there that catch horse side jacks that big, let alone do a catch and cook with one. So hopefully it was something a little bit different. And uh, I'm going to thank you guys for watching it, man. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for being a part of this channel. And for every one of you that have subscribed, thank you guys very much. I really, truly appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family. Become a Jetty Rocker. I hope to see you guys in the comment section. Until I get to see you again soon here on the water or in the kitchen, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. Hey, Jetty Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description. In the bottom of this video, I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.